Let's talk about what's going on in the 11th Congressional District of New York for more local election results. You may have seen the ads back and forth on your airwaves, right? Nicole Maliotakis, the Republican endorsed by Donald Trump, declaring victory over incumbent Max Rose, although Max Rose has not yet conceded. Yes, we are joined now by Nicole Maliotakis. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you being here. Just want to put it out there. We also asked Max Rose to join us as well, but he has declined so far. But in speaking to you, you already declared victory. Give us an indication as why you felt the need to go ahead and do that before everything has been counted. Well, I mean, we're, we're winning by a very large margin, uh, over 35,000 votes, and really that's the number of absentee ballots cast. They would have to win uh, every absentee ballot in order to uh, pull off a victory. So we feel rather confident, actually feel very confident, uh, that we're going to continue to maintain this uh, large lead and it'll be a victory for our team. Uh, Max Rose did say that he knows that you will join him in ensuring with the Board of Elections that every vote is actually counted. You do stand by the fact that every absentee ballot that's out there needs to be counted before the official race can be called? Absolutely. We need to count the votes and we also need to make sure that we eliminate uh, those votes that are cast by dead people. I don't know if you know, but they already found two people who are deceased that voted in this election via absentee. And we'll make sure that our teams and their teams uh, are there to ensure that every vote that is legitimate from this district is counted. This was a really expensive race. There was a lot of mudslinging that went back and forth. It got pretty nasty. Why do you feel it had to go there? You know what, uh, in the month of July, immediately following the Republican primary, uh, Max started running these commercials against me uh, with this fraud uh, stamp, and it was just a, a horrible thing. And uh, I had not had spent any money until uh, early, uh, mid, mid-August. mid But the reality is, is that what, what we showed yesterday is that no matter how many millions you put behind a lie, does not make it the truth. And the people of Staten Island, Southern Brooklyn sent a clear message to Nancy Pelosi and Max Rose that you cannot buy our district. Uh, they spent upwards of $20 million on their, on their race, which is more than the entire mayor's race from both sides uh, in 2017. Uh, Nicole, you're heading into right now what appears to be a house that is majority Democrat. I asked Richie Torres this just moments ago, and I want to ask you the same question on how you plan to reach across the aisle and work together with the other side to try to accomplish some good and bring back bipartisanship that may have gone by the wayside. Yeah, look, I've been in the minority in the assembly and we work together where we could find common ground to strip pensions of elected officials convicted of crimes, to achieve the uh, lowest middle class tax uh, rates in history in at least this last seven decades. Uh, we made sure that we worked diligently when it came to bringing uh, money for the opioid fight, uh, when it came to funding mass transit, our schools. Uh, so there is a lot of common ground and we need to find opportunities to work together. But I think it's important that New York city does have at least one Republican voice in Washington yeah. because we also need a balance and I'm going to provide that alternative uh, viewpoint and push back and hold them accountable when I need to. I want to I want to ask you about um, something you said earlier this week which is a vote for me is to bring back public safety to the streets of our city to restore law and order and to make sure that we reopen the economy regarding the public safety when you look at the streets of New York City do you think the NYP I'm just confused by your comments do you think the NYPD is doing a good job when you when you say things like that? Absolutely. I mean, my whole campaign has been about supporting the NYPD. They do an amazing job under very difficult conditions, but they need the support of elected officials. The problem is, uh, you know, these policies that have made it horrible for them to do, be able to do their job, you know, releasing uh, prisoners back onto the street, the botched bail law, defunding them, uh, trying to take away their power and tools and disrespecting them, which many of our elected officials do do. Uh, they need the support of the elected officials if they are going to be successful. You know, when you arrest somebody and they're back onto the street before your shift is over, it makes it pretty difficult to maintain public safety. And so a vote for me was a vote to support the NYPD because I was the law and order candidate in this race. And I think that the people of this district spoke very loud and clear. They want public safety. They've seen murders increase and shootings increase and burglaries increase uh, and car thefts increase. Uh, our communities are less safe mm -hmm. because of the radical policies that have been put in place under one party rule, which is why we need to have a balance in this city. We're going to restore law and order. Nicole, you call yourself a law and order candidate. Uh, it really echoes what President Trump has been saying as well. But I want to ask you, what do you think it says about your district in the sense that you uh, are declaring victory in a state that broke for Biden? 
Yeah, well, I, I think President Trump did rather well in this district. Uh, and I, I, I think that the people in this district may see very differently than the rest of the city. But what I could tell you about this community is, number one, they know that I'm always there for them to fight for them, whether it was rebuilding after Hurricane Sandy, whether it be taking on the mayor to point out how he's been hurting our communities, um, and whether it be during this pandemic, distributing supplies to the front line. The people yesterday sent a loud and clear message that they do want the public safety, and they also want to reopen the economy. They want to see the jobs that we lost during this pandemic restored. We need to open up the economy to do that. But most importantly, perhaps, is that they've chosen freedom over socialism. They sent a clear message to people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Bill de Blasio, and yes, Max Rose, that the city was going way too far to the left. They want to preserve the American dream, its limitless opportunity and potential. Those are the values that I'm gonna to go to Washington to fight for, I'm gonna fight against the socialism. And I gotta say, as the daughter of immigrants who came here, my father from Greece, my mother's a Cuban refugee. It is what truly makes this country so special. It's freedom, it's liberties, it's opportunity, and that anyone can come from anywhere and achieve the American dream. And I'm an example of that. One generation, my parents who came here with nothing, their daughter is gonna be a United States Congresswoman. And that is what I wanna preserve for future generations. Nicole Maliotakis, thank you for joining us this morning, uh, declaring victory. We're still waiting for the official call once all those ballots are counted, but thank you for joining us this morning. Do appreciate it. And do want to point out that we thank did you. invite Max Rose on the show. So far, he has declined. So, Nicole, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.